Hello everyone, my name is Curios2, and today I will be giving you a quick tutorial as to how to wire up an E2 diesel that you would usually use on a server such as FCNN, Train Build East, or West, depending on how well you use it. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your console and you're going to type in update, and it should come up right here, update mags pack. You hit enter, and it'll give you a message like this. And it'll give you this whole rainbow cascade effect. Now this isn't important, but it will give you all of this. And you just you just need to wait for it. So now that it says fully downloaded, you're clear to go. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go to Mag's Trains Model Pack, which if you have downloaded the server's add-on pack, you should have this. So you'll open it up and you'll go to locomotives. Now I'm going to do a normal switcher such as this, an uh, EMD SW1500, which was actually my first locomotive. So it's pretty plain, there's nothing really special about it. So the first thing you're gonna, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to miscellaneous. Now this will have bogies and trucks and such that you can use. I personally am just going to use the first ones that are on the list. And what you'll do is you'll go to axis, make sure that everything is set to zero and no collide. Just go right in the middle, Go under the train, get as close as you can to this this white square. They all of them have this little white square. This is where you can this is where you mount them. You know, right in the middle and place it. And there you go. So do the exact same thing with this one. And there you go. Next, what you do is you hold C and you go over the body. Make sure that it's not the trucks, but the body. Make sure it has this halo around it. You right click it. You can do whatever body groups you want. I'm just going to leave it alone. You go to disable collisions. You hit that. In doing so, this prevents you, if you are ever in a, in a derailment, it prevents your trucks from, your. well, these are your trucks. It prevents your cars from crashing into each other and causing an even more derailment. This is just to help prevent everything so that the only thing that hits your train are the bogeys. So, next, what you're going to do is you're going to turn this to the side so that way you have some work room. Just go down the way I'm kneeling. So, then what you do is you go to wire, which is the right tab for the most up here. And you'll go to pod control. You spawn this first. You spawn it on the fuel tank. Then what you'll do is you'll spawn an advanced entity marker on the right side. Now, the advanced entity marker, make sure it's advanced. The advanced entity marker is so that way you, the RLC, which is what you'll use, which is basically a super coated up thruster, you'll use this in order to be able to identify the trucks. So you right click it, right click on that one, right click that, right click on that one. And now what you do is you go to the middle and you go to expression two. Now these are, most of these are under chips and gates. Let's spawn in a gate right now. So this gate is so that way it helps things with parenting. Spawn that in on the body. Now it, you can't see it through the fuel tank, but it's there. See? So now that everything is here, then what you do is you go to expression 2 and you'll see a folder called mags pack at the very top. Click the plus and go to PT beta. You click that and it will say auto. Click on that. This gives you all the platinum betas that are currently out there right now. Now the one that we want is this one, the furthermost one. It's called. It has a six on it, and you can't see it all the way. But if you spawn it in, it will say this: RLC Platinum Beta EMD 645E for an EMD SW1500, which is the correct engine type for this switcher. So now that you have everything on, you're going to do some wiring. Actually, we'll save that for later. First things first is that you want to put your chair and such in. Now, then what you do is you go to vehicles, and you'll see mag trains. You spawn in a chair, or what you can do is you can make life easier and go to chairs and normal vehicles and spawn in say a big office chair. I personally am going to use this thing. What you'll want to do is just leave it alone, just keep it at this. And you grab it, lift it up, and put it right in the cab, right here. Sit in it, make sure that you have good visibility, and just leave it alone. Now what you'll do is you should go back to your E2s. 
and you should see something right here called RLC Platinum Control Stand. It should also be in the Magnum, so let's go there. PT Beta Accessories. This will be right about here. RLC Control Platinum Control Stand. That's what you want. I'm going to use the one that I first have personally because it's just the easiest one I have. Well, now what you'll do is because this is the incorrect model to use in an EMD model such as this. So what you'll do is you'll undo it and you'll right click. Then it'll open up this. Now this is the expression two. That's a fender This bender. is the expression two list. What it does is that it has a bunch of models right here. This pound sign, which has this all grayed out, prevents these models from being loaded. The one that is yellow, however, is the one that is loaded. Now what we want to do is we want to put pound sign in there. Go down to dash two. This is the one that's most widely used. And delete that pound sign. And then hit save and exit. That'll spawn in the correct one. So then you grab it, lift it up, and carry it into the cab. In this case, it doesn't matter what orientation it's in. Just get it in the cab, which I'm going to leave it right there. So, just look down, and it's right there. So, now we have wiring to do. Now, the first things first is you'll want to go to your... You'll want to go to your wire tab, and you want to look up wire tool, which is the only tool here, which I have right here. What you'll want is you'll want to look for the width. Now it will give you a width right here and set it to zero. Otherwise, what's going to happen is that there will be a gray line connecting all of your wired props, and that's going to be obnoxious. So you make it zero. Now what you do is you will go to your pod controller, and there will be only two things that you need. There will be crosshairs, which you will go here, and when you left click on it, and it will give you inputs and outputs. These are the outputs. Once you have it selected, you go down to active, and you do allow buttons. Basically what this means is that when you sit down in your chair, in the pod controller, which is up there in the, in the cab, it will allow you to hit buttons, and it will allow you to have crosshairs so you can see where you are going. Next, you will go to this, the RLC. You will go to pod entity. Then you will go to the pod controller. It will say entity entity. You link those two together. Now, what the pod controller does is that it allows you to bind certain actions to whatever keys you want. So in this case, emergency brake, which is you know EM brake right here. Select that, go here, and I always set it to R. Basically what the emergency brake will do is that it will dump your brakes and it will stop you in a matter of seconds. That is what you want. Next, you'll go to trucks array which is this, and then you will see Entities Array. You link those two together. Now what you will do is because while you are under here, you will take your pod controller tool out and you will right click pod controller itself. And then you will go over to your chair and right click on the pod controller there. And there you now have linked the pod controller to the pod itself. So now you can do all the stuff that you want with it. Next, go back to wire, and you will look over here, and you will see RLC P PT Entity. And that's what you want. This is the thing that links both the control stand to the RLC itself. So you want to have that selected, and you go back under, and you go to RLC PT Entity on the RLC itself. You link those two together. And now you're mostly done. Now. What you need to do next is you need to put buttons on. So you will look up advanced buttons in the search bar. And you should get a certain list. Now I have several set up. So for the start one, you want it to be a turn key and you want the toggle to be off. So that way when you turn it on, it does this. Not if it does this. You've done it wrong. This is the start key. Now what you will want to do is you will want to do MU Master, which is a toggle switch. In, the to in this one, I usually have it set to just a normal toggle switch like this. 
like an old light switch that you'd see in the 80s. Next, what you need to do is now that these are on, you will need to take out your wire, wire tool again, and there will be two things known as MU Master. What happens with the MU Master is that you have the option to turn your engine from a master point into a slave point. The slave point essentially means that you have an extra bit of power going behind your engine. So you're going to link the MU Master to this one. Then you go back to your RLC, and there is a second MU Master. We will also link that one to this one. And finally, there is start. And you will go back up here and link it to the start. And now, moment of truth. What happens when you turn off the MU, key, the MU Master is that these levers will come back, especially the bottom one. And then... And there you go. You now have an engine that works. Now, I personally will be doing a second video based around this that will go over a lot more details like lights and holograms and such that should be able to help you in the future. But for now, this is how you start. Next part, and this is the final part of this video, is that you are going to go to your tools. Turn that off. And you'll find the multi-parent tool. Now only three things should be selected and that's remove constraints, set weight, and disable shadows. You left click on the MU master key and you right click on the body. What this means is that the key is that the toggle switch itself is now bound to the body itself which means that it will not move and because it is welded on you will have unnecessary constraints. And then what you do is you parent everything else except for three things. The only things you do not parent are the RLC and the bogies. What parenting essentially does is that it makes everything into a, into a working hologram so that way you don't need to worry about welding everything together because welding everything together causes problems on the server. So you just want to parent everything here and find your gate, which I should have made this one larger, but this is the gate that I chose. It's a little microchip. Now, once you make those all green, you right click on the gate and notice how their color returns. Then, to make life easier, you left click on the gate and you right click it to the body. This basically means that instead of it being welded, much like the toggle switch up here, it is now bound to the body itself, which means that it will not move. Now, to save everything is that you will type in freeze all, which will, will prevent anything from falling, and you'll go to the weld tool. Now, because everything is welded on, you're going to press R on the body, and it will clear all of the weld constraints. Now, the only thing that should be welded to the body is the RLC. So you left click the RLC, and you left click the body. And now you're basically done with the engine. Now what you do is you go to advanced duplicator, you left, you left, you, you, you hold shift and right click it and it should give you this green box. Then you right click it and it gives you an area copy. Area copies are the most used thing. Oh, my chair is gone. Well, that's another thing you'll need to learn is you'll need to learn how to change the area copy. So let's set it to 750. Go back. And there you go. Chairs back. Now, area copying is the most used way to copy engines and such when it comes to RLC, FCNN, and other places. It's the easiest way to get make sure everything gets in your dupe. And now you have a basic working engine. Make sure everything is parented correctly. Because one of the biggest issues that is on FCNN is that people will usually have a non-parented train and that causes server lag and issues and then you'll get in trouble with the moderators and you don't want that if you're trying to have fun on other servers. Well, that's part one of the demo so far. Next part, as I said, is going to be going over things such as lights, number plates, and the smoke effects. So, I'll see you in the next one.